I will present you now an example of gravitation model application I developed in a paper I wrote several years ago but I published only recently in 2015 in the Annals of Japanese Association of Economic Geographers. So uh, the aim was to use and to apply the gravitation model to multinational national firms' networks, despite that some authors say that geography no more matters, like Omaye or Friedman, and that there's a polarization in some global cities, and that there's some continental cohesion reinforcement and a territorial effect, but no more really uh, the distance effect. But according to the observation of the uh, frequency of linkages uh, of cities according to their distance here, we can see that there is a regular decrease uh, even if uh, here at the world scale it decreases but in, it increases again because of intercontinental here uh, in general in average effect. Inside a continent in, like Europe here we can see a very regular decrease of the distance. So we applied a gravitation model, very a classical one, with FIJ, which has companies of the city J, uh, J owned by a, a company of city I. So it is proportional to a parameter K multiplied by different mass of I and J and divided by a, a, a function, a power function of distance with uh, some, so the multiplier coefficient alpha 1 and 2 and the friction of distance beta. So with a multiple regression um, I used different urban indicators for city I, which are the owners, and city J, which are the subsidiaries. So I used the population, the urban population, which reflects the inherited hierarchy, the intra-urban linkages, so the sum of intra-urban linkages revealing the agglomeration uh, economies. We, I used also national indicators attributed to cities, like the national GDP, um, reflecting the market, the national, national GDP per inhabitant reflecting the wealth in the, of the country, and the intranational linkages reflecting the national density of cities around each city. And then I used also some bilateral indicators for the distance, the distance itself in orthodromic uh, kilometers, so the spatial effect, the national uh, GDP per inhabitant ratio from the country I to the country J, it is the ratio of wealth and the ratio of GDP, which is the ratio between the country of I and J, which is the ratio of market. So we had the size of the matrix which is directed uh, about 25,000 couple of cities to 155 cities. So the result of stepwise multiple regression between all these couples of cities is 32%, which is not very high. It is composed first by the two intra-urban uh, linkages, which reflect the agglomeration economies, the distance, so the spatial effect, and the inherited hierarchy, the population of subsidiary city J. So, according to this quite bad uh, result, uh, I tried with the cont different continents. So, I differentiate here we have the total, we have the uh, square. Here uh, we have uh, so the general sig signification, significance, 
the number of observation and the different parameters with all the attributes of the owner city, all the attributes of the subsidiary city, and all the attributes of distances. With the partial R square, the estimated parameters, and the probability. So, for the intercontinental, it is a little bit higher for the R square. And for Africa and Asia, uh, so different continents here, the nodes and the observation are not so high. But for Europe, South America, North America, it is a little bit higher here. Here there is not enough uh, observation and so it is not uh, significant. But here we can, for example, also um, compare the different parameters and we have almost uh, always uh, the intra-urban linkages that is the most important uh, parameters uh, here but here for example for North America it is more the intra-urban linkages of the owners than the subsidiaries but more versus the subsidiaries for the other one here, for example, for South America. But what is very interesting is to compare, for example, the uh, estimated parameters of the distance with, with the friction of distance, which is higher for Europe, lower for South America, and even lower for North America. But even the result of R square are not so good. So I tried another uh, think. According to a classification of the different cities uh, with a spin glass clustering, um, which is quite good, I use this class in order to apply again the same gravitation model. And then we find uh, much better results. And especially you see with Russia, with Belgium, France, Italy, uh, we have much higher air square, which are uh, very good. But the distance is always quite low. And only for uh, inside Europe here, we have more than 10% of the par partial air square for the distance. So in conclusion to this, uh, model you have the paper available on the Moodle platform. We, um, we have the problem with gravitation model that inferential statistics suppose independence between individuals and we need a model assuming interdependency between individuals. So um, the good application would be the ERGM because there is a dependence assumption between links and we could try local and diffuse dependencies as triad diad circuits and more complex combination of multiple and nested social processes. But the problem of ERGM is with valued network, which is solved partly, but not totally. So for the moment, most of the authors continue to use the gravitation model with inferential statistics.